Hello my friends, welcome to the lab and today we have another toy in the shop and this is Telesyn GoPro um, battery charger and two extra batteries for GoPro Hero 8, 7, 6 and 5 and it's new according to this label and obviously made in China so let's take a look what the hell is this and how it operates I just uh, found that my GoPro battery is running uh, quickly low and I'm just fed up with this we have oh USB-C cable neat have one GoPro battery with blue bottom whatever it means another battery Tilisin brand and it's mentioned 4.4 volt 1220 milliamp all right well we will test that and the charger itself okay cable just generic cable okay what do we have here okay three bays for the batteries as I understand okay I'm already looking for the okay it looks like it's easy to just maybe not easy to discharge with GoPro type C cable it's perfect oh I think I found the screw hole all right so 800 char milliamp charging current interesting 5 volt 2 amp so yeah if two batteries gonna run together maybe it's gonna make it but three batteries I don't think it's gonna make uh, would be able to efficiently charge all three of them in the same time okay and uh, battery has three have three contacts but the charger itself have only two contacts there down there so that's mean it's pretty dumb it's a dumb charger okay it goes like this batteries go in just like that so what you're gonna do you're gonna charge those uh, two batteries what I have here and see what's actually the capacity of those batteries but first let's try to at least power it up to see if it works or not for that I'm gonna be using my um, Samsung charger and I have and I have handed this USB-C from Akedre brand Ta -da. okay well I will leave it charging when it's gonna finish I'll continue all right so now I gave it enough time to actually uh, play with this with those batteries also I give them a test so I using my drog um, battery load I was able to test the actual capacity of those batteries and they are turned out not too bad a bit better than I expected I expected it will be shit but they actually not too bad they are they instead of 1220 as they promised over here they are run at 1070 milli, milli uh, ampere hour so which is not too bad also I use it in a, a real GoPro camera for uh, shooting some footage and once I compare it with a genuine GoPro battery uh, in standby so this thing was able to pull out 2 minute uh, 13 sec uh, 2 hours 13 minutes versus 2 hours 35 minutes with, with regular battery so GoPro was just sitting there uh, doing pretty much nothing just uh, running a display and showing the actual feed so this is actually not too bad so this battery can help you in a pinch if you actually if you ran out of your genuine GoPro battery and this is going to be great backup so yeah this is it's not bad it's not bad at all for this especially for the amount of money so batteries are actually fine so let's take a look at this um, little device over here as I mentioned before it has only two pins so it doesn't really communicate anything uh, with the, the, the with batteries so whatever I don't even know whatever communication this, those batteries have here uh, or maybe those two inside pins are just fake so what we need to do is actually open it up this little guy to see I think opening would be easy it's not sealed unit 
let's give it a try so I do believe that this little sticker over here just a just a sticker and obviously we have two screws over here just uh, take them I'm not have holding my breath over here about quality of this thing but let's see what we have well well take a look at this one-sided load it's already surprising well not okay okay I didn't think we have much going on here so production date is 180601 I, I guess 18 is 2018 not 2001 um, it's P253 model TPC01 revision B0 have three LEDs. It has three LEDs. Um, uh, two, those are two color, red and green, as you remember. Here are terminals and have three chips over here, and that's it. Well, and USB-C charger, uh, port, charging port. So if you pay attention, or I can tell you over here, only two pins are connected which are probably power over here and over here on the one side and another side of the USB-C connector. Rest is look to me as they are just freaking grounded. Looks like all of these just grounded like all pins. So I um, need to check that, but maybe this is a part of the specification. Um, yeah, essentially there is no communication. This is plain five volts coming into here. Okay, so chips. So those guys, one, two, three, the charging controllers are pretty simple guys. They are um, 4057Ds. Those are three 4057Ds and they are, a, I think, I don't know what, who actually manufactured this one, but there's a company called Microni and this one of the probably companies who manufacture these dudes. And uh, they are pretty generic and they are everywhere in charging circuits on eBay. So, yeah, and this chip can deliver up to one amp of the uh, the charging current. So, three and the, over here on the piece of paper it says uh, 4.3 volt 800 milliamp. I guess, I don't know why 800, but uh, not one amp. I guess the, there is a, also you can uh, adjust the charging current by the resistor um, maybe one of those maybe this one uh, this resistor is actually regulate the charging current theoretically I can put higher um, a different value of resistor and make it one amp if I really want to do I I don't know uh, I think this is good because three uh, there'll be three amp drawing uh, current and they probably just use 800 to have a two and a half amp or something to this extent I don't know it's pretty simple I would say it's just too simple for the money. So batteries may be plus, but design of this thing is so simplistic. I can just whip up something on my own, probably for a even cheaper. Yeah. Anyways, uh, this is all we have. I'm going to make a really short like, close up of this. This is one sided load, not much going on the other side. Close up of this and maybe guys, you would have some interest looking into this little board, which is inside Talisin um gopro charger gopro battery charger uh, i think this is gonna be it. not much going on here at all at all and same time it's so simple if something gonna blow up here i can whip up i think i have a few other things i can pull those um microcontrollers from and just walk it here and bob's your uncle is gonna just keep working yeah very very simplistic not much else i can say about it well, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.